So in my last video, we made an AI learn Mario Kart Wii, but something was clearly missing. The items. If you haven't seen that video, then be sure to check it out. But otherwise, let's get into making an AI which can not only drive, but also learn to cope with the absolute chaos of items. So the first step in making our AI is going to be deciding what the AI should be able to see when playing the game. For this AI, I'm going to be just using the screen's pixel information meaning the AI will see almost exactly what any human would see when playing the game. One issue, however, is that this AI is based on a neural network, and these networks can find it really hard to deal with big complex images. So to help it out, we're going to be downsizing the images, and even making them black and white. Lastly, it's very hard to tell what's going on from just a single image, so I give the AI the last four images, in the hope that it can use the differences to sense motion within the game. To allow our AI to learn from these images though, we need a way of telling it when it does something right or wrong. And that's where rewards come in. Every action that AI takes, we're going to give our AI a reward telling it if what it's doing is good or bad, allowing the AI to learn exactly what it needs to do. For Mario Kart, we're going to be using a mixture of the AI's speed and progress through the track, as this will encourage the AI to both drive quickly, but also in the right direction, taking as fast lines as possible. Right now you can see me driving around the track, showing how rewards will be given to the AI during training. The last thing we're going to need to do to get our AI playing Mario Kart is to give it some actions it can take, in the same way humans use a controller. AIs tend to learn faster with fewer actions, so it will have the same 5 actions as in my last video, including drifting left at two different angles, drifting right at two different angles, wheeling to go straight forward, but also this time with the ability to use items. While the AI trains, you'll also be able to see these bars in the top left hand corner, which show how the AI rates each of the actions, with the highest rated action being the one the AI will take, which will also be highlighted in yellow. Anyway, in summary our AI is going to take the screen's images, then pass that information through a neural network. A neural network is a collection of a huge number of nodes which are all interconnected, inspired by how a human brain works. The AI we'll be using in this video has a total of around 10 million of these nodes, allowing it to really learn and understand the images we give it. This neural network is then going to output a value for each of the actions we gave the AI, representing how much reward the AI thinks it can get by taking that action. As the AI plays more and more games, we hope it will continue to get better at predicting this reward so it can optimize its gameplay. From here it looks like we're all ready to jump into the training please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. So after a single hour of training, our AI hasn't really learned much, and it's mostly just driving into walls and getting stuck. Many of my other AIs were able to learn to drive much faster than this, as whenever they would crash, I could just give them a punishment and send them back to the start. This doesn't really work with items though, since I can't tell from the speed whether the AI is going slowly because it crashed or because it got hit by an item like a shell. Instead, I only reset the AI if its average speed over the last few seconds has been really slow, but the feedback isn't nearly as instant. Skipping forward to 5 hours, the AI has learned to drive a little, but progress is still pretty slow. In one of my previous videos, an AI learned to drive on this exact track in just 7 hours, showing just how much more difficult it is when the AI doesn't get punished for going off-road, and also when it has to deal with the extra chaos of the CPUs and items. The AI kind of manages to drive forward, but doesn't really seem to understand how to do a corner, so it looks like we're going to have to give this one a little while before we start seeing any real driving. After 10 hours training, some progress finally appears to be made in pretty much every way possible, and with the help of our AI's good friend the bullet, it's even able to finish its first entire lap. After spending a little while watching, although we can clearly see it's improved a ton from 5 hours ago, it still has some very obvious holes in its knowledge, as sometimes it just seems to have no idea what it's doing and just drives off-road miles away from the track. Performance seems to be really mixed though, as at other times the AI showed some real resilience, as even though the CPUs were kind of bullying my AI with the items, the AI was often able to recover and get back to driving at full speed. After watching for a little while though, the AI was even able to finish its first race in a humble 5th place. After a total of 15 hours of training, the AI's general driving appeared to have improved a lot, using wheelies and mini turbos much better than before. But the thing that really surprised me again was this AI's skill in recovering from mistakes and really random situations. A lot of people have criticisms of this type of AI, claiming that it's just memorizing the track, 
but I think that AI really shows some ability to deal with situations that it almost certainly has never seen before. That said, however, soon after we do see a much harder test of the AI's ability, the blooper. And I think it's safe to say it certainly did not pass this test, as when the blooper hits the AI, it's absolutely blindsided, having no idea what to do. I guess only time will tell if the AI is eventually able to learn to deal with the blooper, but watching the AI continue to play, I was able to appreciate its driving a little more. It did also though remind me just how brutal the items in this game really are, as at times we see the AI get reset just because it gets absolutely destroyed by a chain of items. After a full day of trading, the AI's driving is pretty sound, clearly managing to pull away from the CPUs when it comes down to raw speed. The AI's item usage however still has a lot of room for improvement, as it seemed that by this point the AI was trying to rely on its better driving and almost ignoring its own item usage and just learning to recover from getting hit by the CPU's items. Despite this strategy's obvious downfalls, the AI is able to take home a good couple of wins, finally putting the CPU's place after spending the last day getting kind of destroyed by them. Even though this AI was able to bring home some first places though, we're nowhere near done yet, as this AI still has a lot left to learn. One example is definitely avoiding banana pills, as for some reason the AI really seemed to struggle with that, but I mean who knows, maybe AIs get hungry too. After an extra entire day of training, there isn't too much that immediately stands out as being different, but after looking more closely, the AI appears to have cleaned up a lot of the loose ends it was struggling with before. In the last version, the AI would still occasionally end up going off-road and making other small minor errors, but by this point the AI seemed to have cleaned up most of these issues. Another improvement which was also in some of my previous videos is that the AI got much better at wheeling on the straight, rather than just jumping around trying to realign itself, which can really save some time. Lastly, although the AI still hasn't learned to deal with bloopers perfectly, it definitely handles them a lot better than before, meaning sometimes it can even just continue driving despite their ink all over its screen. Overall though, by this point the AI is coming first in almost every race it plays by a significant amount, really showing its skill compared to the CPUs. So here we are at last with the very final AI, with a full 68 hours or almost 3 full days of training. I was really happy with how this turned out, since the AI even appeared to have some idea of how to use items, which was something I really wasn't sure it was going to pick up. The item usage still wasn't great, but part of that was definitely my fault, since I didn't actually give the AI a good way to hold items, meaning doing something like blocking shells with bananas wasn't really possible. Maybe in another video with items however, I'll look to give the AI a better set of controls, so it doesn't have to deal with such human handicaps. Another thing this AI also did which I was really happy to finally see was play all the blooper on the screen like it wasn't even there, just like a human would. A lot of good human players joke about how bad bloopers are in this game, so I was glad to see that AI was finally able to play at that level. One thing that AI never really seemed to pick up however was avoiding bananas. I think one possible reason for this is that in the AI's view of the game, the bananas may have just been too small to really identify, since as you saw earlier in the video, the AI screen is extremely low resolution meaning a banana would probably just take up a few pixels on the screen. One interesting strategy that AI did develop at times, which confused me at first, was crashing into a wall right at the start of the level. It took me a while to figure out what it was doing, but I eventually realised it was trying to drop down into a low position so that it could pick up a really powerful item and get a massive reward due to the high speed the item could allow. In high level Mario Kart, this strategy is even sometimes used and is often called sandbagging. If you want to see an even more extreme example of this, in one of my past videos an AI did something very similar and would just repeatedly hang back and try and get a bullet for that huge reward. I did reduce the reward for really high speeds in this video, but it appears my efforts may still not have succeeded. If you're interested in how the AI progressed over the 68 hours, here's a view of the AI's average reward throughout the entire training process. As you'd expect, the AI improved really rapidly at the start, since it was just learning the fundamentals of driving, and then it continually learned from there a bit more slowly. Even when I eventually turned this AI off, the reward was still clearly trending upwards, so who knows how good this AI could have gotten if I'd have just left it running. I didn't do this however, since when my PC is training the AI, it pumps out some serious heat and basically turns my room into a sauna. Mario Kart. And then we got the Wii connected with all these wires. So after a couple of days in my room feeling like the underworld, I did eventually decide to turn it off. 
thank you so much for all the support on my last video, as I'm still completely blown away by all the kindness and support that was shown. Thank you all so much for watching, and be sure to check out some of my other videos, like an AI learning to play New Super Mario Bros Wii, or even Laser Hockey from the game we play. But anyway, I hope to see you in the next one.